It was frequently considered not done to start a company as a, as a scientist working at a university. Uh, these days that, is, that has really changed. So and now you could say it's almost considered chic to, uh, to have a commercial application in, in your lab. And if that's true, then we as a lab are extremely chic because we have many of those applications. Uh, it would not be accepted in every discipline, I, I guess, but in the biomedical sciences, that certainly is a way to go. Yeah, we are extremely excited. Uh, uh, there are multiple reasons for that. Where we are today, that is not related to the inventions of my lab, of course. So uh, this is actually the third activity. So I'm very actively involved in, in doing research and managing research. Yeah, since the mid-80s almost, uh, we also try to translate our research into real applications. So there I have a commercial association for a very long time. And since about one and a half year, I'm, I'm also invest, investing into the ideas of others. And that's what we do here. We are partners uh, in new ventures uh, into which we invest money. Um, the fund which I'm associated with myself is a fund which invests in technology that helps to reduce the ever increasing costs in healthcare. Why I always want to be involved with science is that you can have the original ideas. But in the end, uh, it only really means something at the moment that it helps patients. Because if you only want to treat one other patient, you don't need a company for that. Uh, but if you want to treat a thousand or hundreds of thousands of patients, uh, then you need a commercial entity to bring it to the patient. So it is a necessity if you want to be clinically successful. car breaks down, then you repair it, but you don't recreate the original situation, uh, which if you want to repair something in the human body, means you always end up with something that is of lesser quality than evolution has prepared during millions of years. And, and that is what regenerative medicine is about. It wants to regenerate, it wants to go beyond repair. is chemical engineering. Uh, I have a lot of expertise of particularly uh, inorganic biomaterials. Uh, so these are the ceramics, uh, metals. So that is all my research or the research in my group is really material science driven. Um, my field of expertise is biology. So where my colleagues are more focused on uh, developing the technologies, the biomaterials. My expertise is in, in the biology. So. It's the communication uh, between the materials that you implant on the one hand and the, uh, and the body. In the past it was all my lab and now it will be our institute and it will be three separate labs. Uh, but the whole should be more than the individual parts. It is my own core business, my own research, something that's, that I'm expert in and I would like to deepen. But on the other hand, working to, together, collaborating in order to make something that is even bigger than that. I think that's, that's really the unique uh, aspect of Merlin, so finding that synergism between the, between the expertises and by doing that, yeah, bringing 
the, uh, the research to another level. We would like to take our research even one step further, uh, quality-wise. But truly, I think the most important things for us is to work at, at even better, more original ideas and translate them into patients. That will be the most important thing. And if something will accelerate, then it's dead because of the setting in Maastricht with the university hospital, because interaction with surgeons and physicians uh, is crucial. There's another aspect which is really appealing to us. Near Maastricht we have DSM, we have the Gemmelot campus, uh, which is a high concentration of biomaterial research, also biomaterials business, which is great for us. And, and that's where we can play a pivotal role and where the environment can play a pivotal role for us. We have done great steps, but we still need steps to make and those we hope to be able to make in the Maastricht environment. Actually, we are sure that we are going to make those steps in the Maastricht environment. Good science changes the world as we see it, or it changes the world in which we live. And that is what we want to achieve.